Hey, what is up, Jojo in the morning? I hope you are having a really, really good day. I've got something that I want to share with you that is going to help you if you will listen to me. If you'll listen to this, this will help you in every single aspect of your life. Okay, hopefully I have your attention. In life, there is a thing called the illusion of choice. Illusion of choice. This is what we're going to get into the mentoring. Okay? And we're going to start the mentoring in June. We're starting it in June. We're getting all the, every, the details, the site how we're going to facilitate it all set up. And one thing is I got to schedule my timing on how I'm going to manage another big project. Okay. Illusion of choice. Why is it an illusion of choice? Because most people think that there is an illusion when it comes to a choice. I'll tell you how to know if you're going to hit the mark and hit your goal in life. My wife and I have a health coaching business with Optavia, and we've got about 280 coaches in our whole organization. And if one coach says, hey, I want to hit this certain mark, this certain rank, this is my goal, and they're going towards their goal, and it's getting, you know, the last three to five days of the month, and let's say they're a little off of their goal. People say one of two things because there's an illusion for a choice. An illusion's not real. They say, yes, I'm going to do the extra work. I'm going to pray harder. And I'm going to dig in a little deeper and I will hit my mark. Or they will start making excuses. When they start making excuses, there is an illusion of false reality of why they can't. When you start making excuses, it becomes a habit in life. It becomes a habit in your life. It will affect your walk with God. It will affect your marriage, your parenting, and you will reproduce this in everybody that is around you. One of the things I absolutely hate, hate in this world is excuses. You know, leading a church, you got to love people, but I don't do that good in counseling because people come in. I remember this, this guy who used to go to our church, keyword used to, he was here for about two years. And we met about every two months. We had the same conversation every single time. <laughs> we would get to a certain point and went off into the illusion. He talked about some things earlier in his life, went off. He went up, and he would always, and I could never, I said, hey, I will go on a three-day fast with you. Let's break this ceiling. He goes up, goes into illusion, goes up, goes into illusion. And it was all because of past trauma, failures, things in his life that he would always go off on. He would never hit the mark, hit the goal and do you know now, uh, I'm still friends with him on Facebook. I'm still friends with him. He's worse off after he left. He was in a, a, a kingdom-minded, apostolic, prophetic place, but he refused to grow past a certain mark. And his life has decreased. We've all been to those funerals. 
the one that they celebrate the person. This person was the best spouse, the best parent. This person was phenomenal in their church. They led a powerful ministry. They led a powerful business. They were the best employee of a business owner could ever have. Man, that's a person with no limitations and no excuses. Then we've all gone to the I was at a funeral one day, and everybody that talked about her talked about her excuses. All they did was talk about her failures. She wanted to do right, but she never could. She wanted to lose weight, but never could. She wanted to help people, but she just never could get past her own demons. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Guys. There is an illusion of choice. If you can set in your mind, there, there's two cousins that I don't like, negativity and excuses. If you can learn to beat negativity and excuses, it will shift everything in your life. Get rid of negative thoughts and excuses and watch what happens. That's why Philippians 4 says, Think upon the things that are good, that are noble, that are just, that are praiseworthy. Meditate on these things. What is meditate? When you sit back, relax, and think. When I think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me with the Holy Ghost. Come on now. Think upon these things, Jojo in the morning family. There is an illusion, a false reality that doesn't exist. That when you get there, when you get to that reality that doesn't exist, you're going to be empty. It's a false reality. So why don't you do what you need to do to get to your dreams and goals with the Lord? Do you think God gave you your gifts, talents, and abilities so you can sit around your house and complain? Do you think he gave you an anointing so you can just complain and make excuses and be negative? When you make your first excuse, you better do a self-examination of your life and find out why you are making that excuse. I'm telling you. And for those amazing people that are going to do the mentoring, get ready for next level. Get ready to grow. Get ready to grow with God. Get ready to grow in life and ministry and business. And, um, and we're going to have different levels of the mentoring. The ones that do personal calls and Zooms with me, it's all straight up. It's all, I mean, we're going. We, we got we to gotta grow. Had a lady just join. I do some one-on-one -on -one mentoring for a week. Exploded her business in a week. I'm telling you, we, we, we got to grow. The world is not going to give you what you deserve. You'll get what you deserve. And I deserve everything God Almighty said was mine. Everything that he said was mine, I'm going after it. I've got souls to win. I've got businesses to create. I, I've, I've got ministries to fulfill. I've got a lot of things that I'm going to do. But so many people make excuses and, and, and they have this false reality that excuses lets them off the hook instead of hitting their mark. All right. I'm telling you guys, I've, I've been just spending extra time with God, reading the right materials, listening to the right podcast, and, and I'm full. I am full, and I am ready to roll and do everything God said I could do. 
He gave it. He gave you everything for a reason. He gave you everything for a reason. It's time that you move in and, and, and you do what he's called you to do. I'm talking some action. One thing I'm going to help people do is to take action. I told this story a lot of times. I'll never forget it was in a prayer meeting one night. This young guy was like, Rah! He started beating his chest, yelling, God, send me to the nations. And while he was yelling, and uh, he kept doing it. And I walked over there. I said, hey, bro, do you even have a passport? He said, no, sir. I said, then quit yelling, God, send me to the nations when you haven't done anything in the natural to fulfill the supernatural. Like, I, I get five to seven of these a day messages. <laughs> Pray that God makes me a millionaire. Pray that God gives me a million dollars. Pray that somebody pays off my house. Pray that somebody does this. Why don't you pray for God to give you a creative idea and you work the visions and dreams he gave you? Instead of a million dollars, you can have millions of dollars. Why, why do you want to sit around and be a welfare recipient your whole life? God is not a welfare agent. He's not going to send you a monthly check. He's going to give you gifts, talents, and abilities to go out and fulfill everything that he's called you to do. To go out and fulfill the Great Commission. To be a leader in your region. To be a leader in your family. Quit sitting around asking God to do something that he gave you the ability to do. A whole lot of people don't like that because they're lazy. Full of excuses. I remember one day, <laughs> I was talking to somebody, and uh, they had a, an affliction. Like, this was a, a real thing, they had an affliction. And they're like a multimillionaire. <laughs> Next person I talk to has the exact same affliction, and they're in complete poverty. I want to do something for God, but I got this lot of affliction. I said, I just talked to a guy that's 10 years younger than you. He's got the same affliction. He's a multimillionaire. Millionaire went this way. The poverty-stricken guy, the older guy, went this way. I mean, God never said it was going to be easy. But he gave you a promise you can do it. <laughs> so I love you guys. I'm telling you. The illusion of choice. When you start making excuses, stick a fork in you. You're done. Sad thing is, I've talked to so many people. Like, I'm all in conversations. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's go. I can help you, man. Let's do this. First excuse, I'm like, Arr! on the brakes. Red flag. I don't go past red flags. Stop talking about your goals and let's talk about you. You will never get past the red flag or the excuse until you work. You've got to equip your mind to get to the next place. All right. I love you guys and I hope this helped.